Welcome to the United States Army and the U.S. Army Reception Battalion. To help you make that transition from civilian to soldier, the Army has reception battalions located at Fort Benning, Georgia, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and Fort Sill, Oklahoma. During your first three to four days of military life, the Army professional who will guide you through the upcoming maze of events is the drill sergeant in charge of your platoon. The drill sergeant is a highly competent individual whom you will rely upon for guidance and assistance as you begin your transformation from civilian to soldier. Upon arrival, you will begin your initial processing, establishing your personnel, financial, and medical records. You will receive an amnesty briefing where you will be able to discard any unauthorized items. You will also receive your Army physical fitness uniform. Your new home will be your barracks where your days will begin early and end late because you have a lot to accomplish in a short time. One of the first things you will be introduced to is the consolidated dining facility. This is where you will eat your meals, dining here three times a day on a large selection of nutritionally balanced food. The medical station is where processing begins for both your medical and dental records. This is a time-consuming procedure that may require you to make more than one visit. It is here that you will receive a panoramic dental x-ray that will become the basis for your dental records. The x-ray will be evaluated by a dentist who may call you back for further evaluation. You will also undergo an eye exam. If you wear corrective lenses, either contacts or glasses, you must bring them with you as the Army will issue you new glasses. No medical evaluation would be complete without inoculations. You will receive several during your stay at the reception battalion. To avoid receiving unnecessary immunizations, bring your immunization shot record with you. As important to you as your medical records are your personnel and financial records, which will be prepared at the personnel section. It is here that you can start allotments, select pay options, initiate savings bonds, enroll in the thrift savings plan, and remain enrolled in or decline the Montgomery GI Bill. Ensure you have your social security card, driver's license or photo ID, direct deposit form and other certificates of proof which may be required at this time, such as marriage certificate, birth certificates and other documents to verify marital and dependent status as appropriate. A personnel clerk will conduct a personal interview to ensure the accuracy and completeness of your records. It is during this time frame that you will receive your initial pay. This is an advance of pay so that you may purchase the necessary items you will need during training. A list of required items will be supplied and you will have the opportunity to visit the Troop Post Exchange to purchase these items. Male soldiers will use some of their pay when they visit the barber shop where their hair will be cut to military standards. The next stop is the Central Issue Facility Clothing Issue. This is an interesting experience. Here you will be measured, fitted, and provided with your basic clothing issue. And just in time, because your next stop is the ID facility. An identification card is prepared for you. You must carry this card at all times, wherever you go. When you are not engaged in an organized activity, you will be busy with your soldierization training, that conversion process from civilian to soldier. Learning the warrior ethos, the soldier's creed, and the army values. Prior to moving to your basic training unit, a physical fitness assessment will be administered. Your final day at the reception battalion is moving day. Under the guidance of your drill sergeant, you will have reviewed your records, inventoried your clothing, and packed, because your in-processing, your transition from civilian to soldier, has begun. You will be transferred to a new unit and embark on your military career. Ah!